Okay, so top hat transistors. Oh. And these right here uh, are from uh, the uh, <clears throat> early 1970s. And they have gold plated leads, gold plated base. And this base right here, you can see that is about a 16th of an inch um, deep. So it's like a little capsule inside of here, a little pill. This is what it looks like when it's been stripped down. I don't know if you can see the profile of that. And so, um, and these are gold plated on the inside as well. You can see that. Also, um, the top here, the top hat portion, is uh, usually made of uh, a ferrous alloy, uh, which I believe is nickel and some other materials called kovar. And uh, anybody that's been refining for any length of time will tell you that uh, kovar is just a pain in the neck. And so uh, the problem with kovar is it's very difficult to dissolve. And in the past, uh, what I found works the best, although it's not recommended, is to uh, start out with a 50-50 uh, nitric acid, concentrated nit nitric acid and distilled water. Uh, basically, I pour enough water in a beaker to cover the material I'm working with, and then I double the volume uh, with nitric acid. And then I heat that mixture up and uh, when the reaction starts to settle, I will add uh, pipettes full of uh, sulfuric acid. And that has been probably the fastest method I've found and uses the least amount of chemicals. But uh, what I found here is a way to process these rather quickly and remove the top hat. And you can see over here, we've got a pile of crimped top hats and these are all the uh, top hats the Kovar top hats and over here I have a nice pile of uh, these top hat transistors without their hats on and they are bald and they are ready to process and this is going to take a whole lot less uh, acid and waste and fumes and everything else that goes along with refining material like this. So I'm going to show you quickly uh, how I process these top hats to get ready to recover the gold from them. And it's actually really simple. So the first thing you're going to need, and mine are pretty worn here, is a pair of uh, nippers. Yep. They look like the old steam shovel. Remember that? All right. <laughs> anyway, uh, so this is a long pair, and they open rather wide. These open about a full inch, and some of them you're going to find uh, don't open that far, and they are also pretty stiff. These are very loose. They're long, and they're uh, and they open wide. And uh, I, I'm sure that these are Channel Master, but I don't know which particular model they are. And if this will help you, uh, these are approximate, these are 10 inches long uh, from the top down to the back end. Just very nice, easy, easy to use. So I'm a righty. I'm a right-handed man. Uh, one of the things I do is I put duct tape right there in the crook of my thumb because this will give you a blister. But after a little practice, you'll be able to process six to 10 of these in a minute. And the way it's done is this. You put these in the end nipper, put the hat in first. So let me see if I can get that. Put the hat into the nipper, just a little past the halfway mark. And you squeeze. And once you squeeze it, you crimp it down all the way. And then what I do is I take a pair of these, which are just 
sort of a vice grip channel lock combination. I think I found these at Lowe's. And yeah, those are coming out backwards because I'm using the uh, reverse lens here, the front lens. And these are, these are about eight inches long and they have a very good tight grip. So once this is crimped in here, I just take these and get a grip around the end of the pill there that portion of the top hat and I just peel back I give that a tap and then I'm on to the next one so crimp down and peel it off and so let me show you this here in this direction so again just a little past the halfway mark squeeze I can do this one-handed, but at this angle, uh, not so well. And I've got this in my left hand, which is not my favorite hand. And with the right hand, I come in with these. I grab hold of that end cap, and I just pull back. I throw that into one bin. I throw the co Kovar top hat into another. And then I just keep going. Um, crimp down. Come in with the vice grip and peel it back bin bin and once you get going on this and you and you get the technique down the thing that i think is important to see is if you can see where i've got that top hat in between the jaws you don't want to go too close because then uh you're biting into the the base portion of the top hat and that's rather hard and you won't be able to get through. So you want to go just uh, two thirds of the way down, maybe not even, even halfway is fine. You know, you can just go halfway. And when you squeeze it, you can see that what it does is it, it crimps that top hat down around the base. And then what you're going to do with the vice grip is, let me see if I can find something to use as a pointer here. Um, I don't, oh yeah, I don't have a damn thing. Oh, wait, there's a little twig on the ground here. So, you can see right there, I want to use the vice grip to come in from the top and the bottom and peel back and away from the jaws of the channel lock. So, I can actually do this side to side. And just pull and it'll come right out. I throw that into one bin, Kovar top hat and another, and there you have it. It's a very simple way of processing these for much less waste, much less cost to you in acid and exposure and the all the risks that go along with, uh, with our hobby here. Anyway, I hope that was uh, able to help you out with these. Um, I have a lot of, uh, top hats here that I'm going to process and I'm going to be showing you more about the processes, uh, for, uh, recovering the gold from these and then, and then the final steps of refining. Um, I also, I'm going to have other videos to show you how I built, uh, my fume hood. Actually, I, uh believe I am going to actually show that in real time. Uh, I'm not going to just describe how I built it. I'm going to actually build the fume hood uh, while being recorded. Also, um, I will be processing other e-scrap, e-waste material for recovery. And uh, I'll be covering all of that in upcoming videos. So, if you like what you see, if you think this is going to help you out, if you think it's going to save you money, and I'm sure it is going to, it's actually even going to save you time because I'm telling you, processing this pile with Kovar top hats versus this pile with the top hat strip, this is going to process in whatever method I choose to do much faster. Uh, than they will with COVID top hats. And in some cases, you can't process those uh, in many different... You don't have a lot of choices with Kovar. You're going to have to get really aggressive. So let's uh, 
Let's hope that that helped you. Anyway, uh, if you like what you've seen so far, go ahead, hit the like and subscribe, and come back for more videos about recovering gold from e-waste and e-scrap, and then uh, how to refine that gold. And let's make some money with our new hobby. Thank you very much.